Hey Libra, welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tarot. Today we're delving into the next 48 hours, what to expect. This can play out past, present, and future, so take it how it resonates, if it resonates for you. Okay, any and everything that has to do with myself as well as the channel will be down below in the description box. I want to say thank you for all of the likes, subscribes, tips, donations, bookings, support of any kind to the brand, as well as the channel is always and greatly appreciated. Okay, uh, Libra, I just want to say right off the bat, in the next 48 hours, you could be getting into it with somebody. Okay, um, I'm getting like a masculine energy that is a little bit confrontational, so be mindful of that going into the next 48 hours. For those of you all that this has already happened, smash that like button. Let's go ahead and get into the next 48 hours, Spirit, please. And thank you for Libra. Okay, balance, Libra. This is your energy, okay? So you're coming into balance within the next 48 hours. That yin and yang energy, that darkness and that light, okay? Um, when you're staying centered in your higher self, okay? Excuse my nail bottom deck is released so i feel like you're releasing someone or something that caused a little bit of chaos within your life you're going back to this libran energy okay rather that's sun moon or rising okay within your birth chart but this is saying you are releasing the past you are releasing what doesn't serve you and you're going back into the natural flow of things the natural balance of oneself it says loosen your hold, relax, unwind, release fear and anxiety and doubt. If we part the deck, we have compromise. So Libra, you may have to do a little bit of compromising to get to this balanced state, okay? Um, mutual understanding, all right? Flexibility and give and take brings rewards. So the reward of this would be to gain balance, all right? There is a karmic partner that you could have been dealing with. This is who you're actually breaking away from okay so that conventional relationship you feel like there is a duty to this person all right or they want to make you feel like you owe something to them all right but it's like bound by societal conventions so libra how you're gonna know if this is the person you need to release is this it's like a superficial relationship all right it's something that is at face value all right but that's it all right, there's no depth to it. And I feel like it takes away from you more than it gives to you. So in the next 48 hours, you are going to be releasing this karmic partner, okay? Rather it's uh, someone you're in a relationship with, okay? Or if it's just a friend, all right? But this is somebody that's considered as a close person to you. Let's throw some tarot on it there. We have the Six of Pentacles, that equal give and take, that balance, right? How things are beginning to be balanced out for you. Mm, with the seven of cups here it talks about illusions i feel like you're really starting to see things for what they really are there's back to that face value okay um i really see you seeing beyond any illusions when it comes to this person king of pentacles you could be very focused on your stability on your finances okay if you have children you're really focused on giving them stability as well i'm talking to someone that as you begin to feel things like abandonment or feeling like you're out in a cold in a situation or vulnerable in any type of way you really start to lean in and what you can do for others and on the top of that list is your children okay so i'm talking to a libra out there that does have children and it's like you're really uh whenever you see these things presented within a partner within a partnership that you have of any type you begin to really fuel into the things that mean the most to you yeah with the emperor card here wow i really see you taking charge here libra um, you are really playing that fatherly duty right you're really being um secure offering security and protection okay to those around you so far i don't see a feminine energy that would be your equal the empress okay whether you're a male or a female whether this person is a male or a female okay um but it has to do with you being in an action oriented energy currently you are action oriented okay and the actions that you are performing um, it's almost a transmutation of some type because as you begin to feel abandoned, you begin to provide more and more stability for those around you. And it's like you don't want anybody just around you that would be just benefiting.
benefiting from you, okay? Taking from you, not really adding to the quality of your life or who you are as an individual, right? Those could be the only things you're really asking for, okay? Um, with the Two of Pentacles here, going back and forth, it's like what you see um, is what you get, but are you really uh, facing that? Are you facing that head on? You know, is it making you uncomfortable, you know, to see these things and realize that this is an illusion that this person was given on, although things were great between you. And here we have that hang bunny energy, okay? That's that stagnancy where you're really starting to hoin in on situations, all right? And what needs your attention and what needs less of your attention, okay? Here we have the Ten of Cups. That's that family dynamic. But I feel as though you're missing the partner, okay? The emperor here in this case would be you, okay, Libra, um, whether you're a male or a female, okay? Um, this is saying that you have gained the stability because you have provided it. You went out and you got it. But the only thing that you're missing is a partner, a real partner, not a karmic partner that you're just going to learn more lessons from, right? The new person, you can learn lessons from them, but at the same time, I feel like uh, you have to be at a certain level, which you are coming in as the emperor, okay? With the Ten of Wands here, something is about to give way, okay? I feel as though um, you are not remaining stagnant anymore, so things have to move. Yeah, there's that will of fortune, okay? This is the karmic will in your favor. You could be attracting or moving towards, uh, this would be moving towards energy with you being a masculine energy, right? Um, you could be moving towards a Leo, a, um, a Taurus, an Aquarius, or a Scorpio, all right? This could be the energy that you're moving towards, okay? This person could be attracting you as well. Why the Ten of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune? Libra. Knight of Swords. Um, so there is some truth you're about to speak, actually. Five of Swords. The Devil card. There is an energy here for you. All right? It's like you, you know who your empress is. Smash the like button if you're a Libra out there and you know who your counterparty is. Because it's like you met this person and like you cursed them out or something. You did something, you know, and you pushed them away in, in some type of shape or form. It's something you literally said, though. Okay? And did. Like, right after you said it. Okay? Um, it's like you feel bound to that in some type of way. Uh, I feel like you're going forth to right your wrong in a way, but also it's like you're being divinely guided back to your counterpart in a way. You may not really be the type of Libra that really even watches tarot. You may not even, like you may have a, a, a different type of religious background, you know, and uh, this is not something you would usually turn to, but I feel as though it showed up for you and you checked it out and smash that like button if that's you and it's resonating. Um, there is something that you're about to go forth and say to someone, okay? With the nine of pentacles here, you see this person is single and abundant. It's like you had the wrong perception of them. Yeah, with the seven of swords, you thought this person was sneaky? That's how you're going to know who this person is? You thought this person was sneaky, okay? Mm, and with the ten of swords, you ended things. It's something you did. Ooh, with the knight of wands, you may have ghosted this person. You may have treated them like an option, you know? Yeah, with the Queen of Cups. This is how they perceived you. Page of Swords. Yes, this person literally perceives you as a, a heartbreaker. That's what I see. I got to say what I see here, okay? I see you releasing the past and balancing yourself out more and then going back to someone that you're divinely guided to go towards. With the Seven of Pentacles, a lot of patience is going to be had here, but a lot of planning and working. You know, I see you being patient and working towards this. All right. Queen of Swords. Mm. This person is single right now and they are really being very upfront with people. OK, with a nine of wands, because they've been through a lot. This person you're going towards Libra has been through a lot. OK, and sad to say it, some of it is <laughs> due to you or at least you're thinking about the situation with them. OK. I feel like you're releasing old thought patterns as well, things that don't serve you. You're coming out of a karmic cycle, okay, in your life. 
in the next 48 hours, Libra. That's what you can expect moving forward. What can I tell Libra for the next 48? Oh, two of cups. This is what you're moving towards. Love. Okay. I am worthy of the deepest kind of love. Okay, so it's like you're balanced when you're moving towards this person and you're knowing that you're deserving of this. And there will be a two of cups situation here. This person is open towards you. Oh, I follow my own path, hermit energy. You're doing this because you are divinely guided because of the work that you've done within. Hmm, the work that you've done within has led you to become a lot more balanced, Libra. And you know that balance is your energy, okay? And you've come about this because of release. You released the things that no longer serve you, including karmic cycles, okay? With the Ace of Cups here, you are receiving a love like no other. It says, I welcome new love and trust what it brings. Because good things are to come with this individual that you're moving towards, okay? I feel like you've definitely been through a lot as well. Uh, you're definitely both deserving of this. This person has done a lot of spiritual work as well, all right? Ah, here we have the Ten of Swords again. I see the truth in this ending. See, that is the lesson, okay, in this situation here. You saw the truth in it. But at first, it had to hurt a little bit, right? In this ending, Let's get some clarity. Six of Pentacles. This is definitely a past situation for a lot of you all. This is like a past life soulmate. You recognize this person. Well, your soul recognizes this person and their soul recognizes you. Two of Cups, Energy, and the Hermit card, okay? This is somebody from the past that you could have ghosted, okay? Um, it says, I give and receive for the universal good. This is the lesson that you've learned. Um, in order to receive good, you must give it. All right. Uh, with the nine of pentacles, this talks about I take the time I need to nurture myself. That's how you're able to give love. OK, because you took the time out to nurture yourself and really realize what love is. What is your love language at the same time, Libra? Here we have the empress because this is who you are moving towards. I can't make this up. You're moving towards your empress. <laughs> Look, I can't even talk. You may be a little tongue-tied when you go towards this person. Like, you don't know exactly what to say. And you may be a little bashful and do something embarrassing, okay? Smash that like button if this has already happened. Um, here we have, I create what I choose naturally with joy. So this is somebody that is attracting you towards them, okay? Like a moth to a flame. And here you come. You're in the masculine energy. You're in the emperor energy, okay? Who else can go get the empress besides the emperor, Okay, no, nothing else is on that wavelength. Here we have the Ten of Pentacles, and that's what it's going to create when you go. It says, I celebrate everything I achieve. What you're achieving is going towards your feminine energy. Okay, and this brings you abundance. Both of you all could have children. You could be blending a family, okay? Smash that like button if you've been having weird dreams lately. Okay, and it's something familiar at the same time. It's like a deja vu, but it's deeper and it's stronger. And some part of you on the soul level recognizes this as a signal for something is about to happen. But your conscious mind, it just doesn't quite grasp it. But you know that change is coming. In the next 48 hours, you can expect that. With the Nine of Wands here, holding on, being strong enough uh, as long as you need to be. You know, it says, I am as strong. I am strong for as long as I need to be strong. All right, you have that capability because you're the emperor and you're going to get the empress, what you were designed for. Lastly, we have the seven of pentacles. I trust my ideas and my direction. So you're not only embodying this emperor energy, going to get what is rightfully yours. You are trusting in your direction and in your guidance that is bestowed upon you. You're being divinely guided to your empress. And with the six of wands, you will be victorious, okay? And you will be proud of what you achieve and you will accept your awards, okay? Or at least you should be. If we part the deck, we even have the 10 of cups. This is something that you have been wanting. Remember, we saw 10 of cups right here, right? That's all you were missing. I have all I wish for in my relationships. You will attain what it is that you want, Libra. The start of that is in the next 48 hours. This person is going to be very open and receptive towards you, okay? This person is going to trust their knowing and they're going to follow their heart. 
that is what they're going to receive. This person is going to be open to receiving you. And here you come as the emperor, blazing in, right? You make empowered choices. That's going to land you right with your empress, okay? Right with what you want. As you release in the next 48 hours and become more balanced, you receive what is rightfully yours, okay? You make room for what you need. Someone that is very vigilant, okay? That can't be budged. You're going to be very happy. Could be moving towards a Leo energy. All right. A lot of people are attracted to you right now, Libra. But you are really attracted to one person. That's what I'm seeing. You're really radiant right now. You're really attracting abundance to you effortlessly. Um... Because of your actions. It's like you're going to go get your good, your good luck charm and that's your empress, okay? The empress attracts abundance, okay? Lastly, we have that focus, right? Because how are you going to be able to get to this empress? You got to have a lot of focus, a lot of determination. But I see that with that vigilance here, you're definitely up for the job, okay? Um, I want to say with that amethyst highlighted here, talks about dreams, talks about um, that third eye, talks about intuition. The bottom deck is perspective. I feel like your perspective is changing here with this, with this situation between this empress and you and with the past karmic relationship or karmic cycle, okay? The things that are falling to the wayside, the things that were veiled behind this fog is being revealed to you in the next 48 hours. Are you going to receive? Receive your communion, Libra. That's the question. Egos could be significant for you, all right? So if this message resonated with you, smash that like button. If you want to see more reads like this one, smash that like button. And I want to thank you for your love and support as always. Until then, peace and love.